This is the final part of our second meeting with these two JW ladies. We pick up right where I asked them if Jesus had the capacity to sin. Because they said yes to that, I then asked if that means if he could still potentially sin later in the future. I think this may have been something they hadn't thought about before because they didn't have any kind of scripted answer here as far as I could tell. We're hoping and praying that this is another thing that will help get them thinking for themselves. What follows is a fairly long drawn out discussion on the nature of Jesus. It sounded to me like they were trying to give some degree of respect to him while at the same time denying the fullness of who he really is and kind of downplaying his role overall. Yeah. He still had free, he still had free will and he had the capacity to sin. You yeah. believe Jesus could sin? Could he sin in the future then? Mm-hmm. Jesus has proven his loyalty. Sure, but, does it, but if he has the, the capacity to sin... If that's a freedom to sin, then, you know, like, is that, what? why wouldn't he maybe do that down the road in the future after the thousand years or something like that, right? If that's, if that's always an option for him, how do you know he'll never do that? Well, like, you know, do you have a scripture that you want to... And if I'm putting you on the spot and you want to think about it later and send something, that's totally fine. Those are just things that are that are coming to mind for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Because God is holy. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Holiness. There's there's nothing impure that, that resides in Him. Yeah, yeah. So to have the capacity for something that is not holy is to go against His very nature. Yeah, mm-hmm. it definitely is. Mm-hmm. So to have the capacity to sin doesn't even fit into His attributes. Yeah, how He describes Himself. Yeah. yeah. He's holy, holy, holy. He's a perfect reflection. Yeah. He's, he's proven. He's, yeah. His integrity. Yeah. yeah we've, so we've we've had the opportunity to see that on earth, yeah. what has always been true of him. Yeah. 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 But the Jesus was, you know, the, when he came on earth, he was a human, right? Human. But the, he took on uh, flesh, yeah. 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 Flesh. Yeah. So born as a human, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, but the, uh, not, you know, <laughs> the kind of relationship of men and women, right? Mm-hmm. Because the Holy Mary, Spirit, yes. yeah. So the transfer, you know, his life in heaven mm-hmm. to the uh, Mary's womb. So the the when he born is a baby, but it's a perfect human baby, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but mm-hmm. the, uh, uh, <laughs> but you know that Jesus, 33 and a half years. So do you think a perfect human uh, never be tempted by Satan? Tempted but without no. sin. Yeah, he was sinless. Yeah. 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 yeah, so yeah. even though yeah. he was tempted from the outside, there was no capacity for him to have given it to Yeah, yeah. Like we have, we as humans who sin yeah. have temptation. So like if you have... Um, Say you're on a diet and you look at these gorgeous looking muffins and you go, oh, I'm tempted. And even if you even if you resist, you still had that that temptation in your heart that you really wanted it. But if you walk into a bank and someone says, hey, you can totally rob this bank right now. You're not tempted, right? Because it's like, why would I even want to do that? Yeah, but it's still a temptation being given you. But it's not it's not something that in your heart you go, oh, I better not. You know, you're, you're just not even there, right? So. That, that, I think, the second one is what we're looking at with Jesus, is that yeah. the temptation he, he was given was... Yeah. Right, so, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. He, he, yeah. Yeah, his, his sense of righteousness yeah. is just... He, he's our example. He just, he he just is righteous, yeah. Yeah, righteous. yeah. and yeah. so those that he died for, he gave his righteousness, so he's righteous, right? Like, yeah. the, it's there. <laughs> yeah, so, so that means, you know, that when human become perfect, mm-hmm. so we can see that uh, we will become like a Jesus when he was on earth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Does yeah. that make sense? Did that again, sorry? Per- per- perfect sense of, like, we'll be given that perfect sense of righteousness, of, like judgment, and yeah. well, God so, imputed his righteousness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. you know that sinners r- right mm-hmm. now, yeah. we have a war inside. Yeah. So mm-hmm. what is right? Because yeah. we're fallen sinners. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then uh, quite often we choose what is bad. So that's a fall. They did. The miserable man and mm-hmm. mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. he wanna do what is right. But the the things he does, you know, 
mercy. Oh, but they don't. Oh, yeah, right. But Christ is our hope because He is our righteousness. That yeah. yeah. We are found yeah. in Him because we can't actually yeah. make ourselves right. Yeah. Yeah. So if we yeah. become perfect, there's n there won't be any wars inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So always easy to do what is right. Mm -hmm. Right. And well, a resurrection to life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the, the life is in Christ and we'll just be glorifying God all the time in everything we do. Like right now, do I obey the first commandment perfectly? No, I fail all the time. Do I love God with all my heart, soul, mind and strength? No, I, I have moments when I think, oh yes, I love Him and where I'm, I'm living out of that love for Him. But am I doing that perfectly? No, I fail all the time and that's sin, right? So yeah, yeah, whereas in glory... I will be loving him 100% all the time and living for him and loving my neighbor as myself and you know so that that will become just like the default that's what I am that's not even there's nothing else that I would ever even consider there's no there's no way even for it to happen right so yeah so ultimately um, you know the human going to reflect Jehovah's quality image mm -hmm. so that's the way Jehovah made human differ from animals, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, he but made us in his image. Yeah. But Adam and Eve, they didn't reflect Jehovah's glory image, you know, mm -hmm. image, right? Mm -hmm. So, but his purpose never changed for mankind. This comment from JW's is always so interesting to me because I agree that God's purpose for mankind has never changed, but we mean very different things when we say that. They believe that God's purpose was thwarted when Adam and Eve sinned and that he didn't know they would do it. So, as my JW friend has said, God had to have a plan B. When Christians see how God's plan has never changed, we think of the scripture that tells us Christ coming and dying for his children was planned before the very foundation of the world. There was no plan B. God is sovereign and he is all-powerful and all-knowing. He knows the end from the beginning. He holds everything in his hands. And what's more, a nice garden for humans to enjoy was never the ultimate point. It has always been, first and foremost, about his glory. That should always be what we understand to matter more than anything. That is the reason it is so important that his name be glorified. It's about him not us. Watchtower is so man-centered that they don't seem to ever think about that, which is really sad. So he, the, in a you know, new world, 1,000 years takes, but uh, he's going to help us to become like a Jehovah God, reflect his, you know, the wonderful quality, 100%. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We'll be all instructed, right? Mm -hmm. And those who are resurrected, you know, who live without it, it will take time because not everybody will be resurrected. Like, it'll be mm. some stuff, like order. Yeah. We don't know the exact order because the Bible doesn't, you know, specify, so we don't know. You know, so we just want to, you know, just yeah. Yeah. just a mental note. I do have to leave in 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Take my house oh. work. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So, how about, okay. So, we'll go on to the next one. Maybe what we can do is, do you want to just finish this? this yeah, and then we can. Yeah. yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll, yeah. That yeah. sounds perfect. No worries. I, the, the time is flying by. That's why. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are yeah, definitely getting into it. So, uh, the next box, I think it, I'll read the next one. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, what we will, uh, everyone will experience complete peace. And Psalm 37, 11. But the meek will possess the earth, and they will find exquisite delight in the abundance of peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, would you say that that is like talking about peace with each other, or is it ultimately about peace with God? Like, is that the main it, point? Like, both. Peace with God, mm -hmm. peace with each other. Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, because like that's, like for me, that's, yeah, that's the thing I want more than anything, right? Is peace with God, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But also to have like unity with each other, because he, he wants us to sure. love. He wants us to love. And, oh sure, yeah. And, yeah, and that's the second commandment to love your neighbor. Yeah. So yeah. So it's like it's it's all in heart with each other. You know, loving him and loving mm -hmm. loving loving our brothers, loving our neighbors. Sure. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
so context, if you read the verse 10, we can see this hope for the future. Jehovah going to do something about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And aren't we all okay. really the wicked man? Wicked man. You know? So, so wicked, the yeah, wicked gone, then do you think all the violence at the war will end? If there's no more sin that can rule, of course it would be, it would be, that's, that's what paradise would be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, right? yeah. wicked yeah, people. When sin has been dealt with. Well, not, not wicked people, because like, what I see it is that we are all wicked people. We're all born in sin. We're rebellion against God. That's our nature. And so we are wicked. And it's only when we're born in Christ, born in the Spirit, that we are then transformed given his righteousness and then we're no longer declared wicked people we're declared righteous in Christ right yeah. so those are the people that will go on to eternity yeah yeah <laughs> in this world how many righteous people exist Not zero yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so that's why Jehovah going to take action to remove all the wicked from the earth give them a chance many chance right to yeah people have it you know, yeah, people have and, and to, they're called. And, and God has, has declared imperfect, um, faithful ones. He, 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 he calls them righteous people because their righteousness is, is, even though we're imperfect, we're still trying to do what's right in God's eyes. We're still sinners. Would you say you're justified that you have the imputed righteousness of Jesus? Like right now? Also, like I'm saying that I'm still a sinner. And, sure. And I fall short, and I need, you know, I, I need to look to God. I need to constantly ask Him to help me overcome challenges I struggle with. You know, and but you can't make yourself right. No. No, oh. apart from God. Right. 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 Only He can do that work. Yeah. 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 So uh, that didn't really answer. Sorry, I'm pushing, but did. No. So would you say no? You're not declared righteous. You're not justified right now. Is that something that you feel comes in the future? Or? I, I wouldn't like. I mean, I, I'm trying to, to serve God. I know he, he, he's the judge. Mm -hmm. he's, he, you know, in the, in the Bible, he's called like Noah, a preacher of righteousness. Mm -hmm. You know, Daniel was um, a righteous and desirable man. You know, they were imperfect, but they were they were sinners still. And yeah, sinners. yeah, and, and they were trying. Do you think so they're earning their way? And they were exercising their faith. And, and the scripture says, coming to know the truth of God and exercising their faith in Jesus. So it, it's trying to do what we possibly can mm. to live in harmony with God's will. We fall short all the time. Yeah, so how do you know you've done enough? Yeah. Or do you not know? Did you count how many times she said she's trying? I'm asking her about what God has done and she's talking about what she can do. This is so heartbreaking to hear. Like all false religions, it's about what you can do to earn salvation, not what Christ has accomplished and secured. She even throws in their twist, exercising faith, which essentially tries to turn faith into works. Adding the word exercising essentially nullifies what the scripture is actually saying. Well, that, that's coming to know, and just, you know, we're leaving it to him because he's, you know, Mm. Well, you don't know. Oh, yeah. But, but at the same time, we have confidence that, you know, the more we're trying to strengthen our relationship with God with Him and do it's great, we know that we're, we're, we're doing the best we can. We know that He, he is you know, our motives. And our efforts, despite we're perfect, it's just like a child. A, a child, like a two year old came up and gave you a picture that looked like a bunch of scribbles. But you knew that they came out of love, they wanted to give you something with oh, their very best. And so yeah, that's, that's special. It's just like, thank you. Like they, they worked really hard. Obviously it's not like a, a you know, a masterpiece, a piece, or, but like it's, it's their best. And so like with us, Yeah. What is that one? Oh, that's in, like that, Scarlet and, and yeah. Yeah, no, that that our works, all our works are filthy rags. Yeah, I think that's actually in yeah. like Isaiah and also in the New Testament somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you know the 
our goal is become a friend of Jehovah God. Mm. Okay. So you know that how he view us, right? Mm. Yeah. In order to make uh, Jehovah's friend, we have to change ourselves. There it is again. We have to change ourselves. This is trying to elevate human beings to a very high and powerful state and putting God into a very low and powerless state. It's so completely the opposite of what the Bible tells us about who Jehovah is and who we are. Note also how the one lady again used the parent-child analogy to try and downplay the reality of how serious our sin is before the Holy God. You know, that way of thinking and our conduct. So, you know, before we uh, don't know, before we don't know Jehovah and his standard. So the things we did is totally, you know, uh, wrong from Jehovah's view. But after we learn mm -hmm. about the Jehovah and his purpose and his mm -hmm. righteous standard, so we make ourselves to apply all the, you know, the yeah. righteous standard to yeah, become... There's a lot of good people in the world in the yeah. sense that they're, they, don't, they don't do all those terrible things like, you know, steal, they don't, so, um, but yet they don't profess to know Jehovah, so what about them that they have, quote unquote, good moral lives in a humanly standard? So what makes them different? God's will is that all come to know Him and come to have a relationship with Him. And, and you know, I know amazing people like, who, you know, they uh, there's a lot of qualities. Mm -hmm. But still, like, His purpose is for us to have a relationship with Him and know each other. And for His glory. More, yeah. Yeah, most important thing is faith. <coughs> faith. Without faith, we cannot please Jehovah God, right? Mm -hmm. Faith so is a gift from Him, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Ephesians, yeah. 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 But the, yeah. yeah. But we have to cultivate this faith. We, we are not born with the faith, so we have no. to learn how to cultivate that faith. So, but the people who do the wonderful things in the world, mm -hmm. so many, but if they don't have a faith in Jehovah God, mm -hmm. from Jehovah's viewpoint, how he viewed those people as a friend or what? A, just a acquaintance or a <laughs> So Jesus said, you know, um, actually Matthew chapter 7, right? And uh, many people say, oh, Lord, Lord, I do this, I did that. You mm -hmm, know? But mm -hmm. Jesus said, I don't know you. Yeah. Well, you, you depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Yeah. yeah. Right? yeah. Of and these are people who are doing all kinds of things in, in Jehovah's name. and. He still says, no, I never knew you. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. those who are doing the Jehovah's will, Jesus said, the one doing Jehovah's will, yeah, the is the one uh, Jehovah view as a righteous and the friend. Hmm, and it sounds like the ones who he says to get away from me, they're they're the, they actually believe they were doing, they yeah, were following yeah, as well. Yeah. But he said, get away from me. So we want to make sure, really, what we are doing is, uh, you know, doing Jehovah's will. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, from Jehovah, Jehovah's view, right? Mm -hmm. It can become a self-righteous. Mm -hmm. He thinks, the person thinks, uh, I'm a righteous, but... Uh, about do they doing Jehovah's will? And how well are they doing it, right? That's, you know, like how well do you do his will perfectly? You know, like I know I don't do it perfectly. No, no. So that's why we ask forgiveness every day. Mm -hmm. And help too, right? Like, yeah, like if, if I'm struggling with something like I feel like I'm just not patient, even just something like patience. I'm trying to work on patience. Like the book of James, you know, reading the word, but going away and forgetting what, what 
with like took a knee, you know. We had to get going at this point, so we quickly went through the list of scriptures that they were going to send us to back up their odd-sounding claims. These included Adam being perfect, there being two kinds of sin, and everyone getting a clean slate when they're recreated on Paradise Earth. This all happened via texting, so I'll give you a quick recap of how that went. As you probably guessed, she did not send scriptures to defend what they said. She sent more Watchtower articles from the website. The first one she sent regarding having a clean slate on Paradise Earth was an Awake article from 1995. It's actually an article primarily telling JWs how they are supposed to forgive one another. It does mention wiping the slate clean four times, which I'm sure is why it came to mind for her. Now, of course, when believers are saved, covered by the blood of Christ, declared righteous and born of the Spirit, the slate is indeed wiped clean forever. We stand justified before our holy God forever. But what Watchtower is trying to twist that into is basically something like a whiteboard that has been wiped clean but can again be covered with more sin in the future. But somehow, no atonement is needed for that future sin, which they essentially teach that no one will ever be completely free from. She also sent an article from a February 8, 2003 Awake magazine called, Is There an Unforgivable Sin? This one seems to be how they try to suggest that there are two kinds of sin. Essentially, they try to break up sin as less serious and more serious, saying that it's only those who have truly wicked and rebellious hearts that will not be forgiven and may not even have a chance to be recreated on Paradise Earth. Can you see how badly this one twists what the Bible is actually saying? The truth is that we are all wicked, rebellious sinners. That is our very nature. There is no hope for any of us on our own. They're basically suggesting that there are good people and bad people. Good people still sin, but just not as badly as wicked people. This leaves JWs feeling good about themselves for not being one of those people which keeps them from ever considering the depth of their own sins, which might result in repentance and faith in Christ alone. This article also gives a subtle warning against leaving the organization and becoming an apostate, because that would mean that you are blaspheming the Holy Spirit, which is the unforgivable sin. I do wonder if they got this from the Mormons, because they basically do the same thing, suggesting that apostatizing from their religion is the one thing that leads anyone to hell. Now, there are certainly several different interpretations of blaspheming the Holy Spirit among believing Christians, but none of them suggest that it has anything to do with there being good people and bad people, or that ending one's loyalty to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society magazine publishing company equates to blaspheming the Holy Spirit. And the article she sent regarding Adam being perfect comes from a Questions from Readers 2010 Watchtower article. Basically, this article makes a lot of claims that Adam and Eve were perfect, trying to use some proof text to back it up, but of course, not sharing a single verse that actually says they were perfect because there are none. God called them good, not perfect. They were, of course, without sin and the consequences of sin in the very beginning. But again, it still never says they were perfect, does it? So it's basically just their claim. They do reference one verse about God being perfect, but that doesn't back up their claim about Adam at all, does it? Basically, it looks like the purpose of this article is to tell JWs that if they are good and do all the things they are told, and of course if they believe in the ransom sacrifice in addition to all that, they too might be perfect one day like Adam and Eve were. Again, the motives of these articles are really disturbing, aren't they? This is just a small handful of the articles she has sent me. It has actually gotten overwhelming, especially since there's never time to actually respond to the articles if we continue doing the book study every week. Next time, we'll move on to meeting number three, which ended up being online, so the sound quality is significantly better, thankfully. <laughs>